All right, so this is Catnip Auction House. Okay. And the point of this game is we are all playing these kind of high-class Aristocats in a 1920s Art Deco auction house. You know how I can tell that? Bow tie, top hat. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, gave it away. <laughs> so when you're setting up the game, you start off by uh, giving every player eight catnip, which are these acrylic cubes. Okay. That goes behind their player screens. All right. So that's keep you keep that hidden so no one can see it. Everyone gets a pause token. Uh, yellow side is claws out. You flip it over to pause your bid, and that's what we call claws in is, is the orange side. We have the first player marker, or the, uh, the auctioneer, will get the standee in front of them, plus they also get the directional marker. Now, the direction of this game is going to change every round. And what okay. that does is just keeps the person from the left of you always screwing Pass. you over, essentially, Correct. right? Uh, yeah, that's good. So it starts off, we'll start off clockwise. Uh, the last person to pet a cat is the first player. So when did you pet a cat last? Uh, yesterday morning. I'm allergic to cats, so it's always. <laughs> I'm always going. I'm never going to be first in this game. <laughs> All right, so you're going to be the first player. Okay. In starting up the setup of the game, uh, what you're going to do is read. Everyone is going to read out what the preferred item is. So what's your preferred item for your cat? Ooh, uh, Claudia. May seem gentle, but her preferred item is a toilet paper roll. Nice. Mine is, uh, so I got Chuckles, and my okay. preferred item is the feather on a stick. Mm. Um, we have, I believe, Mew Baca is a laser pointer. Nice. He's got way too much catnip, so I'm going to bring him down to eight for the sake of this uh, tutorial. Wookies. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> the Wookies, there we go. Uh, and then Jasper's, I believe, is the jeweled cat litter is, is his preferred item. Okay. All right, so you take those preferred items out of the deck, uh -huh. okay? You're going to place them in a pile, and then you're going to add an, an amount of cards that brings the final tally up to 10. Because you're going to have 10 items you're going to auction in this uh, auction. So we have those are four players. You're going to add another six random cards. It doesn't matter which six. And then we're going to shuffle them all in together. Okay. Okay, so we shuffle, and this is going to be our starting kind of auction house. What this allows us to do is because there is, I believe, 30 some odd items in the deck, there's a lot of variety every time you play the game. So we shuffle the deck. Now this is going to form what we're going to do in the auction. Flip over the top item. The auctioneer is always going to read off to the other players what item is up for uh -oh. auction. So let's read what this is. It is the jeweled cat later that Jasper wants. Uh, players with face down items must give you one catnip. Awesome. So in this auction, it's a very simple auction style. It's an in or out. So it's not like uh, poker or anything like that where you're having to up other people's bids. It's literally you say, I'm in. You put in one catnip. And it goes on to the next player. Or you can say, I'm out. Or I'm going to pause, pun intended, my bid. You do that by flipping over your token. Okay. And you get to take whatever is left, uh, has been in the bowl up until that point. Right? So in this case, let's say, for argument's sake, we've been going around in circles. And there's this much catnip in the bowl. Gets to me. And I'm like, ah, I really want that item. But I kind of need some catnip to help me in later bids and later rounds. So I'm going to pause my bid. And I'm going to take the catnip. Then it starts a bit over and goes over to the next person and so forth around the circle. Now, what are we bidding on? So with this particular item, not only do you win this item, which gives you a special ability that you can use, bottom right-hand corner will indicate whether it's a one-time ability, so a, a one and done. Some of them have a shield, which means they just stay active all the time and they can't be impacted. Okay. And there's others that are reoccurring that you can keep reusing them over and over again. Now, some of these powers allow you to impact the items that other cats have already won. So that's why you got to kind of be mindful of the type of um, ability you have. That If you're going to play it, you might want to play it uh, before someone can cancel that ability out. Right. You always have to play the ability before the auction begins every round. Okay. Okay. Other than that, what we're bidding for is victory points, which are mice. So your mice are your victory points. The person who wins the auction is going to get the top number of mice. The person who comes in second gets the bottom number of mice. And then the third place always gets one mouse. Okay. And that goes behind your player screen. And we're going to continue on until essentially we go through this entire deck. And the game plays in roughly 20 minutes. You can get through a game. And it plays 3 to 10 players. So you have a lot of people playing this game. So it's a wow, great yeah. party game, great game night starter, good way to get people in, chatting, having fun, and laughing, and sure. having a good time, especially if they're cat lovers. Right. All right, so starting off this particular bid, uh, and we're going to go clockwise, the marker. So we're going to start with you. Okay. You decide if you want to put a, uh, a catnip in, yes or no. Uh, so my quick question would be... Sure. Uh, what I know that Jasper is after this, and what do I gain by making sure they don't get it? That's a great question. So 
there's no benefit to you other than a negative consequence to them. Okay. Because if you can get your preferred item at the end of the game, so if you finish the game with your preferred item, you get a bonus two mice. Okay. Right? So, so that's, that's a good I missed yeah. that one. So no, no, you're good. Bonus two mice. If you get your preferred item, you want to obviously keep other people from getting the preferred item. Right. All right. Start All off right. the bid. Oh, sure. I mean, I might as well start, you know? So you're going to do one. Jasper yeah. definitely, definitely wants to go in because yeah. it's their preferred item. Yubaka says they're in. My claws are out. Uh, I'm going to go in as well. Uh, yeah, I'll try one more. Jasper you know, does Jasper's one more. In. And then Mubaka looks at this and says, too rich for my blood. Right. And they're going to take the catnip. And they would flip that. And they flip this over. They pause their bid. They're out of this round, but then we'll reset again when we get to the we'll next, flip next card. Sure. Comes to me. I'm going to say, okay, I'm in. Well, I mean, I don't want to stop now and only get one. Jasper's going to keep going. I'm going to keep going, of course, too. All right. Well, I need to get some money back now or some catnip back. So you're going to pause? Yeah, so I'll pause it. And, and, I'll... Catnip. and because you're the third last person to go out, you also get a mouse. Nice. That goes down your player screen as well. All right. There's going to be certain abilities in here that allow you to um, see other people's uh, player screens. So there's okay. abilities that allow you to force people to reveal. Uh, there's abilities that allow you to take catnip from other people. Um, it's going to go back to Jasper. Jasper's going to start the bid again. Uh, I'm going to bid one because I know Jasper's going to stay until the end. Jasper's going to go. I'm going to come again. Jasper's in. And then I'm going to say, okay, uh, I'm out. So I, Jasper now, so I pause. Jasper gets the item. So it goes, item goes in front of Jasper. You get three. I get three mice. It's stuck to my hand. <laughs> Absolutely. One, two, three. Jasper gets six. So they get a yellow mouse, which is worth five. Oh, I see. And a brown mouse. Okay. They get the item. They now become the auctioneer. So the auctioneer direction flips over. Comes over here. We're now going to counterclockwise. Jasper then takes the top card. They read it to everybody. In this case, it's a toilet paper roll. Of course, all cats love to scratch toilet paper. It's true. They're going to take one mouse from up to two different players if you can have this card inactivated. Oh. So because they won the auction and they're the auctioneer the bidding starts either to the right or left of them in this case it's going to go to you because it's now counterclockwise so you okay. did uh another quick question yeah does that just pass to the left or does it go to the person who won it always goes to the person that won so okay. if you win the auction you get the item and you become the auctioneer okay all right well i'm in on that uh, i think jazz was probably going to bail on this one because they just used up all the catnip on the last one all right so they're going to pause and they would still be flipped over, right? Come in. Oh, sorry. We got uh, forgot about Claudia. Yeah. From Yubaka. I'm in. I'm in. Yubaka's in. Stop it. I'm in. Too rich for my blood. I'm going to bail. I'm going to take my mouse. And Yubaka's back in. I don't know, Yubaka. You probably want to bail. <laughs> you should probably bail. I'll give you a mouse. One more. Mm -hmm. All right, so they, they'll bail. All right. So you get the item. So you have four mice. Sweet. One, two, three, four. Awesome. They get two. Again, counter flips over. Comes over to you. You're the auctioneer. And now we go clockwise. Uh, so when can I choose to do this? Just before any auction? And right at the beginning of the auction, before after the person reads off the next item. So in this case, we'll show it's going to be a feather on a stick. That would actually be my cat's preferred item. Mm. The player to your right gives you a catnip. And then you would decide, okay, do I want to uh, activate a card or not? And everyone will have that chance mm. before you start bidding. Once bidding starts, then you can't activate that item until the next round. Okay. It continues on and so forth until we're going to go through this entire stack at yep. the end. Uh, we count up our mice. The person with the most mice wins. You also get one mouse for every four catnip that are left over at the end of the game. Zero. <laughs> and you got zero <laughs> yeah. in this case. But by the end, you would I have, have a few more. Have more. Sure, sure. And uh, there are cards that will impact that as well. There's another one that says, no, you'll actually get, you know, for three mice, you'll get a, a victory point instead of four. Okay. Um, but it's very simple, very light, very fun. Yeah. Uh, there is some strategic Cheatsy. elements to it, which is sure. kind of fun and how you're going to kind of work over your other opponents. Right. Push and them as much as you can. Push them as much as you can. Yeah. And uh, it becomes a big cat brawl, which is what right, we Right, right. Yeah. Oh, these are cute. You do like a deluxe version with some little like uh, cat toy mice. <laughs> I've got a, I got a buddy. He's like, you got to come with metal. There's got to be metal mice. There's got to be metal, <laughs> metal mice. He's, he's the metal coin guy, yeah, right? Okay, so he's okay. like, yeah, yeah, I want the metal mice. So. Sure. I even like a little like a rubber mouse would I mean, be cool. If it wasn't no, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe a little cheaper too. Or maybe you know? even metal uh, paws and things like that. There you but go. Yeah, if you yeah. want to go deluxe, you really want to go deluxe, Really like deluxify. Right? Yeah, yeah. 
It's an actual catnip. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this game is by uh, Reed Mascola. So Reed okay. Mascola is the designer of this. Uh, published by Tin Robot Games. So that's my company. I'm James Staley. Nice. And uh, this game is available starting at Origins. So tomorrow Ooh, right we're now, in yeah. booth 311. So the, I love that group. Yeah, group. there you go. So, yeah, <laughs> so you go over to uh, the Bridge Distribution booth again, starting Friday. This game is going to be uh, first thing in the morning is when we launch it live. Oh wow! Uh, you can pick up your copy there, and then it'll be for sale throughout the entire convention. Awesome! Yeah. Or you can go online at tinrobotgames.com, and you can pick up a copy there as well. Awesome. Well, we hope to see you here in Origins in person. It's always the best place to do it. But yeah, otherwise, Absolutely. visit them at Tin Robots and pick yourself up a copy. Thanks for having us, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you.